John is having a look at these models. Can you count the cubes in the objects here when observed in the direction of the arrow? The objects are now rotated and John's view of the objects changes. Do you find different number of cubes now when observed from the views shown by the arrow? Sometimes when you look at combined shapes, some of them may be hidden from your view. So, we need to develop the skill of visualizing solid shapes which helps us to see hidden parts of solid shapes. There are different ways to view a 3D object. We will now see some methods to do so. The first method is by cutting or slicing the object. You would have often observed your mother slicing bread or cutting vegetables and fruits. When the objects are cut, do they have the same shape as the original object? Let us take a loaf of bread is rectangular, but each slice is a square. A watermelon is spherical, but the cut piece is a circle. The bottle gourd is a cylinder, but the cut piece is a circle. Let us now see if we get the same results when the way we cut the objects changes. To check this, let us cut the bread loaf horizontally. What is the shape of the cut piece when the bread loaf is cut horizontally? It is a rectangle. The shape that you get when cutting across objects either vertically or horizontally is called the cross section. It is a good way to visualize solid objects. Let us now look at another technique of visualizing solid objects which is shadow play. For this, let us place a cone and observe the shadow formed on the wall behind when light from a torch falls on it. A cone is a 3D object, but what do you observe about the shadow of this object? Shadow of the cone is a triangle. Now, place a cube and observe the shadow when light from a torch falls on it head on. Now, move the torch slightly above and observe the shadow formed. What difference do you observe between the two shadows of the cube? We observe that the first shadow of the cube formed is a square and in the second case, the shadow formed is a rectangle. Therefore, Shadow of 3D objects differ depending on the position of the source of light. So, shadows are a good way to illustrate how three-dimensional objects can be viewed in two dimensions. Observe this house carefully. Let us take pictures of the house from the front, top and the side. Pictures were taken of the same object from different angles. What do you observe? Each picture gave a different view of the house depending on the angle. Similarly, let us observe the stairs from different angles. Like in the case of the house, we observe that the view of the stairs is different when observed from the front, side and top. Viewing a three-dimensional object from different angles can provide a lot of information about the object observed and is used extensively in the engineering of real-life objects.